This was the mass celebrated by my predecessors in the office of bishop, where I was at the time, Marquette, Michigan. Our first bishop in the Diocese of Marquette is now venerable. His cause is in process for beatification, the venerable Frederick Barga, a saintly missionary bishop. And I realize this is the mass that venerable Frederick Barga celebrated. I realize this is the mass that my mother grew up with. My father was a convert. But this was the Mass that he converted to the church under. This was the Mass celebrated by my grandparents and my great-grandparents who came to the United States from Poland. I realized that this was the Mass of the ages that had nourished the faith and the devotion of generations, including so many saints in the church. This Mass, this form of the Latin Rite, connects us across time and space to the generations of Catholics from all parts of the world and through all of these past centuries. This is a touchstone, a connecting point with all of that. This is the liturgy celebrated by the church in the age of the martyrs when so many were martyred for their faith in Christ and for their celebration of the Mass. This Mass also, this Mass unites us, as does every Mass, in the ordinary form as well. It, it unites us to that great cloud of witnesses who worship in the heavenly liturgy before the throne of the Lamb, once slain, who lives forever. This is what you the young people of our church in this time have discovered. 